Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, an active Transformer Balance DI from Rupert Neve Designs. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the RNDI, an active direct box from Rupert Neve Designs. Now this direct box is active, which means that it requires power to operate, and it gets that power via 48 volt phantom power from your interface or your mixing console. One of the defining features of the RNDI is that it has tremendous headroom. It can work with instrument level signals from a bass guitar, an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar, line level signals from keyboards, microphone preamps, and can even support speaker level inputs from an amplifier like this bass amplifier I have here. In fact, the RNDI can support up to 1000 watts of input power. Operating the RNDI couldn't be simpler. Just connect your instrument to the input. The through could route to an amplifier so you can hear yourself play on stage if you're working that way. We have a switch for selecting speaker level or instrument level signals. On the back we have an XLR output that would feed into your audio interface or your mixing console, and we also have a ground lift switch that prevents hum from ground loops. What makes the RNDI special is that it's transformer based. It features custom designed transformers from Rupert Neve himself, as well as a Class A FET amplifier design. The RNDI has tremendous specs. For example, its bandwidth is from 10 Hz all the way up to over 100 kHz. So that's an incredibly broad range whether you're working with a six string bass like this, an electric guitar, a keyboard, an amplifier signal, or if you're running a microphone signal back through it, you have plenty of bandwidth there for capturing all the harmonics, everything that's coming out of your source. Because the RNDI is transformer based, we're adding in a little bit of even order sweetness, a little bit of extra harmonics there, mostly octave above and octave and a fifth above. This adds a little bit of extra sweetness, a little bit of extra depth, and a little bit of extra dimension to your signal. What we're not getting with the RNDI is odd order harmonic distortion. That odd order harmonic distortion can show up as dissonant sounds that are in the signal, makes the sound more harsh. And that results typically from crossover distortion. Because we have class A discrete electronics inside the RNDI, we don't have any problems with that odd order distortion. As you heard during the introduction to this video, the RNDI excels at capturing instrument level signals. Whether you have a bass, in this case a six string BTB from Ibanez, you're playing electric guitar and acoustic guitar, all of that signal is going to make it clearly into your interface or your mixing console. You're going to capture the whole instrument there with that little bit of extra dimension, that little bit of extra sweetness. It's a great sounding DI for instruments. Even with an instrument as broad ranging as this six string BTB bass from Ibanez, we can capture everything from the low B to the highest note. But what's really cool is we can use this same DI box to capture speaker level signal from our amplifier. So if you're using your amplifier to get coloration on say your bass amp, you could capture all of that as well right through the RNDI straight into your DAW. So what I've done now is I've connected my bass straight into the input of this MAG220 Rootmaster from Ashdown. Now with a solid state amplifier, we can run the speaker out directly from the amp right into the RNDI as long as we have the switch in the speaker position. With a tube amplifier, we'd still need to have a speaker connected to the amplifier. This allows us to capture all of the coloration that's coming from the amplifier on our bass signal. Even if we push the amplifier way into distortion, all of that sound will be captured through the RNDI straight into Pro Tools. If you're looking for a direct box for stage or studio that can capture everything that your instrument, your amplifier, your keyboards, your line level devices can put out, the RNDI is an obvious choice. It sounds great with that full frequency bandwidth from 10 Hz up to over 100 kHz. It'll accept just about any level that you put into it from instrument level to 1000 watts of amplifier power. Zero crossover distortion, so there's no harshness, no dissonant harmonics added in, yet it's also adding in that extra bit of dimension from those even order harmonics. It's a great sounding DI box, I highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck, I'm Mitch Gallagher.